AI is this exciting new gadget that's got everybody buzzing about the future, but also a bit on the edge, especially in our world of graphic design. It's all anybody's talking about. But with softwares being developed for everything that you can possibly imagine, what are the real tools out there that can make a difference in our own productivity and actually help us out as designers? Well, I have tested the waters with dozens of these AI tools, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the ones that I found truly helpful in making our work more efficient and more creative. First and foremost, let's talk about the basics of AI. AI stands for artificial intelligence, which is basically technology that can learn from its environment to make decisions and solve problems without having to be programmed. It has the capacity to think in ways similar to humans, but way, way faster, helping us out with tasks such as data analysis and pattern recognition. But when it comes down to graphic design, I found a lot of these tools from AI startups, either very repetitive, not really functional, and more artistic in the sense of being interesting rather than actually useful. So we as graphic designers use a combination of skills, typography, color, illustration, photography, composition, layout, and the current level of AI can actually help with decision-making, speed of work, to streamline the process. So when I was reviewing all of these dozens of tools, I had in mind one thing and one thing alone. Is this actually useful? Will it help me and my team achieve our deadlines faster? Can this help me increase my productivity and creativity as a designer? And here are the best tools I found, which you should check out. Now you can find them in the description of this video and let me know in the comments if you have come across tools that you think are useful and I will absolutely check those out too. Number one, ChatGPT. So when it comes down to getting ideas for content, writing tricky emails, analyzing and creating brand strategies, ChatGPT is my go-to tool. Not only is it amazingly precise, but it has allowed us to do brand analysis projects in such short time. Designers often need to gather information to work with, like design trends, competitor research, and other things. And some of the usual comments that I see about ChatGPT is that it doesn't have access to real-time information, but it's rather gathering information about things from like a year or two ago, but just with a simple add-on like WebChatGPT, you can fix that. It allows you to access real-time information and put it and summarize it for you. So ChatGPT is a productivity tool that will help you, but there is a catch. You need to know how to use it because the results will depend on the input of information. The more precise you are, the more precise the information will be. And you should use ChatGPT just like if you were training a new assistant. Number two is Chroma. So when it comes down to finding new color palettes and coming up with ideas about colors, this is an awesome tool. It is an AI-based color combination generator that draws from your selection of colors and thousands of human-made color palettes all across the internet. So to generate a personalized list of color combinations, you first choose 50 colors on the site, and then you can view them as gradient, palette, typography, and image. You can also discover and search for new combinations as well as build up on your collection. In addition, you can upload your own custom images and test the colors on that. Chroma is also free to use. Number three is FontJoy. Have you ever found yourself trying to nail down that perfect font combination? Well, this is the solution. It's a clever little tool equipped with artificial intelligence so that it's like your new best friend when it comes to picking fonts for your projects. Now it does all that scrutinizing, pairing fonts based on style, weight, and contrast. And just like that, you're handed a bunch of font combinations that aren't just easy on the eye, but are really legible too. But that's not all. It's also a user-friendly and it takes the guesswork out of font selection. It simplifies things for designers to just whip up some eye-catching designs. Plus, you can fine-tune your font choices. You can play around with the weight, the contrast, and other little nitty-gritty details of the suggested fonts that get them just right for your design. So, isn't that cool? Number four is AutoDraw. So imagine a drawing tool that knows what you're sketching before you do. So that's AutoDraw in a nutshell. It's created by developers from Google Creative Lab, and this AI-powered web tool is on a mission to make drawing a fun and accessible activity for everyone. So here's how it works. Doodle anything on AutoDraw, and like magic, it'll just guess what you're sketching. Then it dishes out a bunch of drawing suggestions crafted by a variety of artists and designers to give your masterpiece a little extra polish. And when you're happy with your work, you can easily download it as a PNG file right from any device or share it on social media. Plus, some designs are up for grabs for you to download too. So what is in the toolbox? Well, you've got all the basic drawing tools at your disposal here. From freehand drawing, a color picker, shapes, fill, text, a resize tool, zoom, and rotate. And to keep things smooth, they've shown, they've actually thrown in some handy keyboard shortcuts. 
and auto draw doesn't cost anything. It's totally free. Number five, let's enhance. So what this does is it's a revolutionary image enhancing and scaling tool. Born in 2017, it sought to address the limitations of non-photographers' images. You know how brands love to showcase images that are taken by their customers using their simple mobile phones and usually their pixelated messes, all these pictures. And that's where Let's Enhance steps in. It's armed with a cutting edge image processing algorithm that lets you blow up your images up to 16 times without losing any ounce of quality. And in terms of the cost, it's got a wide range of plans to suit your needs, and you can even get started for 10 free credits for $0. Remove BG. So sometimes we need a quick way to remove the background of an image, and yes, Photoshop is an amazing and great tool for this, but sometimes we just need to do it a bit quicker. And this is where Remove BG comes in. It's this super convenient cloud-based tool that whisks away backgrounds from your images in a snap. We're talking 100% AI auto magic here. And yes, it does a pretty good job. Gone are the days when removing backgrounds from images needs a lots of work in Photoshop. It's as simple as one line of code for any image. Next is Dolly and Mid Journey. AI art generators like these two have been becoming more and more popular in the world of AI. While they may be super popular, as an artist myself, I approach them with caution, and I have some reservations about fully endorsing these ones. Dolly is an extension of the GPT-3 model. It generates images based on textural descriptions. Similarly, Midjourney is an AI image generator that uses machine learning to transform text into captivating visual artwork, often with a dreamlike and kind of gothic aesthetic. It offers a more advanced and specific style compared to Dolly. So how can these tools benefit us as designers? Well, if you're in need of inspiration for an original design or illustration, you can experiment with different descriptions and see what these tools come up with. They can also be super helpful for designers who require maybe some eye-catching images or illustration for their work. However, it's really important to be aware of the controversy surrounding these AI image generators. There are valid concerns about copyright infringements and the potential misuse of artists' work, that lack of consent from original creators and the use of millions of images from training these tools have sparked debates about intellectual property rights. So to address these issues, it's really advised that designers and artists approach AI-generated art with super caution. Use AI tools as sources of inspiration and collaboration while still relying on your own creative skills and respect intellectual property rights. The ethical implications of AI-generated art are significant. Graphic designers and artists should find a balance between embracing AI tools and maintaining that integrity of artistic expression by blending AI with their own creativity and respecting copyright. Artists can navigate this evolving landscape while supporting the artistic community. Next is Photoshop. Yes, you heard me, but I am not talking about the latest version of Photoshop, but Photoshop Beta. So what is this beta? Well, Adobe is debuting a beta testing program for its flagship Photoshop image editing software for Creative Cloud subscribers. So you'll need to be an active Creative Cloud subscriber in order to download this Photoshop beta. Both the official Photoshop release and the beta version can be installed at the same time, so you don't have to get rid of one. And to get it, you just go to the Adobe Cloud and go to the tab Beta. Now, here are the two tools that I thought would be really worth talking about in this list of best graphic designer AI tools. So let's take a look at them. The first one is Neural Filters, and you go up to Filter, Neural Filters, and it will pull up all these awesome filters that you can activate. So. For this one, what we're trying to do is get rid of these scratches and make this old image look newer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, click that one on, and you can adjust how much the scratch is, scratches are reduced, how much photo enhancement there is, and I'm just gonna put it at 78 and 75, and then we're gonna see how the image looks. So now you can see the difference. That's without it, that's with it. And then there's another cool one that I like to use called Colorize. So you turn on the Colorize and it automatically makes it so that it puts color inside the image. Now, if you don't like the way that it is laid out, you can go into the image over on the right and you can adjust specific sections and choose what colors can then be put there. So right now we're gonna be changing this one up a little bit. So I'm going to try and match that other one below it. Let's see what happens. There, it made it a little bit more on the yellow side. 
And then you can also adjust how saturated it is, how unsaturated, and adjust it so it's more red, more cyan, and all, all sorts of different colors here. So this is a cool one to take an old picture and make it look colorized. But there's a bunch of other different filters here that you can experiment with. And you can also see here, there's a whole wait list of ones that they're working on as well. The other one is what will possibly replace Content Aware, and this is the Remove tool. So Content Aware works based off of the surrounding pixels. It intelligently analyzes the pixels and patterns around that selected area, and it generates new pixels to seamlessly blend with the existing image. The Remove tool uses more high-end artificial intelligence because it's not only analyzing the pixels, also it can predict new ones based on the image. So let's compare. Yes, that remove tool makes a better job at removing objects and replacing them with something else. So in conclusion, the tools that I've highlighted each harness the power of AI to enhance our creative process as designers. They optimize our productivity, they spark our creativity, and they expedite the delivery of our projects from brainstorming ideas, generating content, selecting color schemes and fonts, to creating unique illustrations and enhancing images. All these AI tools can truly be game changers in the realm of graphic design. However, as creators, our own unique voice, our distinct creativity, and our innovative mind set are the irreplaceable attributes that define our craft. So no tool or algorithm, no matter how sophisticated, can emulate that human touch, the original thought process that is our creativity. As we continue to leverage these AI in our design processes, let's remember to maintain our unique creative flair and originality, because after all, it's our ability to dream, to imagine and create that makes us truly irreplaceable as designers. AI, AI can lend a hand, but our creative spirit is and always will be the driving force behind our work. So make sure you also comment if there are any other tools that I should try out in the AI world. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. Thank you so much for stopping by and until next time, keep creating.